The cobbled streets of Ashton glistened under a veil of moonlight, perfect cover for Aurora, the masked marauder. Tonight's target, Moonlight Manor, a sprawling estate shrouded in rumors. Whispers spoke of a reclusive duke hoarding a mythical artifact, the Moonstone, rumored to grant wishes. Aurora, an orphan with a talent for lockpicking and a rebellious streak, needed the Moonstone. Her younger brother, Frederick, lay bedridden, his illness defying even the best healers. The Moonstone was her last hope. Suddenly, a figure emerged from the shadows, cloaked and hooded. Aurora tensed, hand hovering over a well-placed dagger. Hold, Marauder, a surprisingly gentle voice said. Perhaps we can be of mutual assistance. The figure unveiled himself as Alistair, a handsome scholar with eyes that held the glint of adventure. Alistair, intrigued by the Marauder's exploits, offered his knowledge of the manor's intricate layout in exchange for a share of the alleged Moonstone's power, a cure for his ailing sister. Together, they navigated the manor's dusty halls, dodging hidden traps and patrolling guards. Alistair, with his charming wit and surprising agility, made their unlikely partnership surprisingly fun. He even managed to disarm a particularly grumpy guard with a well-timed pun, earning Aurora a reluctant smile. Deep within the manor, they found a hidden chamber where the moonstone, a pulsating orb of blue light, rested on a silver pedestal. Just as Aurora reached for it, an alarm blared and the Duke, a gaunt figure with eyes like cold steel, materialized. A fierce battle ensued. Alistair, surprisingly skilled with a rapier, fought alongside Aurora. Their clash with the Duke and his guards was a blur of flashing steel and thrilling escapes. In the confusion, Alistair shoved Aurora towards the Moonstone, a mischievous glint in his eyes. With a final lunge, she grabbed the Moonstone. As blinding light filled the room, she felt a strong hand grasp hers. When the light subsided, they found themselves outside the manor, the first rays of dawn painting the sky. The moonstone pulsed warmly in her hand. Looks like you got your wish, Marauder, Alistair said with a smile. But before she could thank him, he vanished into the rising sun, leaving behind only a single red rose. Back in her hidden hideout, Aurora cradled the moonstone, a bittersweet pang in her heart. It felt warm, radiating a strange energy. But where was Alistair? The answer came with the morning news. A masked figure, the Red Rose Knight, had apprehended thieves attempting to steal a rare medical text from the Royal Archives, a text rumoured to hold a cure for a variety of ailments. Aurora knew what she had to do. Selling the Moonstone for enough to treat Frederick was out of the question. But perhaps, with the Red Rose Knight by her side, she could use the Moonstone's power to find a cure for both their loved ones, forging a bond far more valuable than any wish. The Marauder, with a new purpose and a growing affection for the mysterious Knight, disappeared into the sunrise, the Moonstone a beacon of hope in her hand. Their adventures, fueled by both romance and a thirst for justice, were just beginning.